Hey guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So in today's video I'm going to show you an excerpt from the lesson on how to play Machine Gun by Jimi Hendrix, the band of gypsies. And uh, this was kindly requested and supported by Dan, so huge thanks goes out to him for the support. And uh, I'd like to take uh, a few minutes uh, to talk to you about the course, so if you'd like to skip the uh, talking, I will leave the uh, time mark and you can skip that, that part. Uh, but I have to tell you a little bit about this course because there's a lot of things going on. Um, so what I decided to do, I decided to divide this lesson into two parts uh, because there's just so much going on and um, some of the parts are really complicated. So it took me a long time to, uh, you know, to learn to transcribe and to actually record the, the lesson. Uh, so I decided to divide it into two parts. The first part is going to be from the start up until the solo. Uh, by the way, I have to mention uh, this uh, version is taken from the uh, live at the Phil Maurice uh, that Jimmy and uh, Band of Gypsies did at, uh, in 1969 um, at the uh, New Year's Eve. So they recorded four shows there. And uh, this is uh, probably one of the, you know, the best versions that Jimmy ever uh, recorded uh, the machine gun so uh, I think it's from the uh, first or maybe second uh, show I'm not really sure but uh, uh, you can check out the original recording and, it, and it's there um, so like I said I decided to divide uh, I decided to divide the lesson into two parts in the first part I break down basically the intro the uh, the first solo and then the verses of the song uh, up until the solo and uh, I decided to do it because, you know, the solo, solo of its, on its own, the, the second one, the main solo is, is quite challenging and it's quite complicated. And uh, only, you know, the solo, the lesson of the solo, it took me about more than an hour to, uh, uh, you know, to, to show to, to record the whole thing. So there is a lot of things going on, very, very interesting things, um, you know, but it's probably not for everybody. Uh, to tackle that solo so that's why I decided to do it in two parts so the second part is basically the solo and I recorded two separate videos uh, even for the second part because the first is the solo which is more than an hour I think an hour or ten minutes and then we have uh, another two verses and so there are also um, kind of a, a solo in between and also the outro uh, of the track so that's also on a separate video so the second part consists of two videos. Now I have to tell you um, what's included in the downloads. So in the first part, uh, in the download, you're going to be getting the uh, full lesson of the first part, uh, the playthrough of the first part, um, two backing tracks. One is in D standard and one is in E flat. It's the same backing track, but with a different pitch. And uh, it's the uh, Buddy Miles who is singing on that backing track. Um, and I decided to do it into two different pitches in D standard in, and in E flat because originally the song was recorded in D standard. Uh, they tuned down all of the guitars, you know, the whole step down. But if you're used to playing Hendrix, um, 
a lot you know um, most of his work is done in E flat so I decided to actually have two backing tracks so you don't have to tune down you know the whole step uh, to just to learn the song and actually the lesson itself is recorded in E flat tuning um, but the playthrough I st uh, you know I stuck to the original tuning so I decided to uh, to record it in D standard so the whole step down so the playthrough is in you know, half, whole step down uh, tuning, the lesson in, is in half step down tuning and you get the two backing tracks. And also uh, the taps for the um, for first part, that's uh, in part one, and for the second part you get, again, the video lesson. Uh, I will include the playthrough of the second part. Uh, I'm w still working on it, you know, it just takes a little bit of time to record this, uh, this part, um, but it will be there. Uh, also, you know, the back, two backing tracks, all of the um, tabs in PDF format. And uh, I also uh, talk a little bit about the gear, the, uh, the pedals that I was using for the playthrough, which is going to be included in the second part. Um, so you get two different parts, you know, if you would like to get, if you're going to get both of the parts together, you get a discount code. And also, I'm going to put together different bundles of uh, Hendrix's stuff. You know, I have uh, this course, which is called Get Experienced, which is covering the Jimi Hendrix's uh, style of playing, which is also, you know, a huge course. Um, and I also have um, the uh, course for building speed for hammer-ons and pull-offs, which is very uh, well related to uh, Jimmy's playing. Not only Jimmy, but Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, Gary Moore, and uh, like-minded uh, guitar players. Uh, so, Penta Madness, um, the course, you know, I'll, I'll put together different bundles and you can get uh, some really good discounts. So, check out for these two. And also, if YouTube allows it, uh, I will put the uh, whole uh, playthrough of the entire song to my other channel. You can... You will be able to find the link in the description box down below as well if YouTube allows it. Uh, when I'm done with it, you can find the link in the description box down as well. And uh, regarding tuning, like I said, we're going to be the lesson is in half step down tuning, but the playthrough is in D standard, so the whole step down. And um, uh, for the for the sound, I was using again the uh, VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the uh, presets. Uh, that I was using right now and while you are checking it out I'm gonna play you my low E string which is half step down so E flat uh, so you can uh, tune up and play along with this lesson So we're going to break up this song into parts. We're going to start off with the intro and the intro we're also going to break it down into uh, different sections. So I'm going to be playing on the clean guitar without the effects on because uh, Univibe can uh, sometimes color a few uh, notes so, so you can hear better the notes. I'm going to be playing without the Univibe but just to give you a uh, sort of taste of what it sounds like with the Univibe, it goes like this. So not too much of uh, coloring of the notes, but still because of that kind of swirly, swirly um, effect, uh, you know, some of the notes can be, um, cannot be heard really well. So I'm going to be playing without that. All right, so the first part of the intro, we have four different phrases. We're going to start off with the first one. So it goes. All right, so uh, just before we start breaking down the whole thing, I just want to mention that the whole song, most of the riffs are uh, written in uh, E minor pentatonic scale. So either in this position or in this position. And um, so it's basically a lot of um, uh, minor pentatonic uh, licks and phrases. Sometimes Jimmy would play uh, the, um, uh, the blue scale as well and some notes of the E minor pentatonic as well. Of the E minor scale, I'm sorry. But the, the majority of the 
the whole thing is based on um, on the E minor pentatonic. So the first phrase starts off with uh, we hit the uh, part of E minor chord. So here we have low E string open, the A string is muted, and then we have this double stop. So 14 on D, 12 on the G string. So we hit that chord. It's a short one, a staccato style, meaning you, you hit it quickly and you cut it off. Then we have four uh, muted strings going on. Then we have... So here, this uh, phrase, we have a grace note, meaning quick hammer-on. On the G string, 12, adding some vibrato, then we have again... Another grace note back to 12 and then a quick trill on the D string between a 12 and 14th fret. So all together, the, the first phrase slowly. Then we have the next one. So here starts off with again low E string open. And we have a grace note, 12 to 14 on the D, like that. And you can let ring out the low E string, like that. Then we go to the A string, 14th fret two times, uh, low E15, back to A string 12. So it's like a little phrase here. And these notes, you can play them lightly uh, palm muted. And then we have again on the G string, grace note to 14th fret back to 12 adding some vibrato and in the end we hit the uh, uh, the muted strings so this second phrase then we go to the next phrase goes like this all right so here Jimmy's just hitting the chord and uh, he catches the uh, the first two strings open. So it's basically 14 frets on uh, D. G is muted, A is muted, and you can hit uh, the uh, low E uh, open if you want to, like that. So you hit the chord, let it ring out, and then we have another uh, little phrase here. So 12 on A, and then we go to the low E string, 12, 15, 12. And then two of these grace notes on the G string onto the 14th fret. Then what we have is, it's a reverse rake. So the first three strings are muted, and you drag your pick across the strings onto the D string, 14, and you play pull off to 12. And then we go to the A string, 13 to 12, like that. So all together, this third phrase goes like this. All right, and the last phrase, the fourth phrase of this section, going to go like this. Okay, so here again, we have a grace note on the D string. And at the same time, you hit... Uh, the low E, and if you catch the B string, that's totally fine. So we have um, hit it uh, with a down stroke, and then on the way up, like that. If you get the B string and the D string, that's totally fine. Then we pick the low E, then have uh, 15 on the low E. 15 on low E, and uh, because Jimmy's going for that again on the G string, if you catch the uh, some of the notes of the of the chord, that's totally fine. So we have adding some vibrato. All right, so that's the first four phrases of this uh, intro uh, section. So I'm gonna play them through all of the parts together. Slowly gonna go like this.
Alright, the next part of the intro goes like this. Okay, so we're gonna break it down these four phrases again. So we have um, uh, starting off with a so here just playing muted strings. We play in uh, uh, 132 notes, so uh, six of these, and then on the seventh we hit it uh, the uh, muted strings one more time. So all together it's seven uh, seven hits of the um, of the muted strings. Then we have. So here bending the G string, 14th fret, then bring it down, 12, then we go 12 D, 14 on A, and grace notes on the D string again. So all together. Then we go into the next phrase, goes like this. So that's the first part. Again, we're hitting the um, uh, part of the E chord. So basically we have the low E, D, and the B strings. Uh, the other are mute, the, uh, the rest are muted. Then we go with the thumb playing 12 on low E. And we do this little rhythmical figure. So it's on the 12th fret on the low E, uh, lightly palm muted. And you do this kind of, um, it's kind of like a gallop figure, sort of. Like that. In the end, we hit the muted strings and then we have. So it's again um, the G string as we did previously. And here we have a little uh, trill, just a small trill here. So all together, slowly. And in the end, again, we hit the uh, muted strings. Then the next phrase. Alright, so I'm going to stop right here. So again, we're hitting this uh, part of the chord and we go into, uh, into the uh, kind of gallop figure again, but... So, because you're fretting the 14 here on the D string, if you get it uh, with the rest of the, um, the figure that we're playing, it's totally fine. So, the figure itself goes like this. It's basically between the open low E and then we have, uh, so two notes on the low E, then 12, back to the open, okay? So, and then in the end, we hit this double stop again, as we did in the beginning, so, like that. Then we have a little uh, lick here. So, bending the B string on the 15th fret, Adding some for brother then 12 high E, 12 B, 14 on the G string, and then 12 uh, B, 12 G with a slight bend. Then pull off 14 to 12 on the D string. And then um, the phrase continues. So we go into this, uh, basically playing between a string on 14 and 12 on the low E and it's kind of it's got this kind of uh, syncopated rhythm. So we do it for three times. And then again we hit the, the double stop and then we have So here this double stop we have 15 on the B string, 14 on G, you bend it up, bring it down but still keeping that B string ringing, and then again bending the G string, staying on this note for a little bit longer, bring it down, pull off, and then we go into the next part. So I'm going to play all of these four phrases one more time, slowly going to go like this.
All right, after that we continue with the next part. It's uh, kind of repetitive, so uh, we have two alterations there. So the first one... All right, so here again we have these muted strings. <clears throat> and by the way, we're doing this with the drums now, so just keep that in mind. So again, muted strings. Then we have... So that's the uh, first ending. So here we're bending the 12th fret of the A string. We have two bends here. And uh, the first one can be, um, you know, bigger, the second uh, smaller. And then we have 12 10 on the, on the same string and then 12 on the low E. So. Then we have the next ending. So again, muted strings, and then we have just once bending the 12th fret on the A string. Then we have 12, 10, and then 10 on the low E. Then we basically repeat these two phrases uh, together again. And here, you know, you can, when you go to the low E string, you can pull off to 10 and slide out, or just slide out from that note, doesn't really matter. So, um, and then the second time again we have... Alright, so these two phrases together, uh, we're repeating them and we're doing them twice. Alright, so after that we continue with the intro, uh, now we go into the next part which goes like this. Alright, so here, just going to the, we change the position now, so we go into first position here. So we play open low E, then we play the octave, second fret on the D string, then we add the uh, trill, so between open and second, open and second uh, fret on the D string, then we pick again D string, then low E, and then we have... So bending the G string, 2nd fret, and as you bend it up, you then play the uh, high E uh, string. Now, because my bridge is uh, slightly, it's not on the guitar, so when I'm bending the string and playing the other one, that's why you hear a little bit of uh, that uh, dissonant sound. If your bridge on the guitar is um, basically hard-tailed, so it doesn't move, you're not going to get that sound. I'm keeping this up because, you know, so I can, uh, when I use the tremolo arm, so I can use dive bombs and also a little bit pull up on that. So just keep that in mind. The guitar is in tune. Um, it's just that little detail because I'm bending the string. This one goes also up a little bit. So just keep that in mind. All right. So after that we have... Uh, G string, bend up, second fret, bring it down, pull off. Then we go on to the trill on the D string. Then pick the chord, just uh, try it lightly. So these three strings, and then G string, and going into the trill again. So all together, these two bars go like this. After that, we go into a little solo. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to continue learning the entire song or just part one, check out the links in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.